Iran said overnight it will stop complying with some parts of the nuclear deal. Now, this is one year to the day after President Trump walked out, walked away from the landmark agreement. Iran's president also threatened to resume enriching uranium if countries that are still part of the deal do not come up with better terms within 60 days. Iran's economy is under pressure from U.S. sanctions. This week, the U.S. began moving B-52 bombers and an aircraft carrier strike group to the Persian Gulf region. David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, good morning. Good morning. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo canceled a uh, trip to Germany in order to pay a surprise visit to Baghdad in order to brief Iraqi leaders on what the Pentagon calls specific and credible threats against U.S. forces. These were attacks that were uh, imminent. In addition to threats in Iraq, the U.S. has also detected Iran moving short-range missiles on boats in the Persian Gulf as if they were being put in position to be launched against American forces based in Qatar, Bahrain, or Saudi Arabia. These so-called threat streams prompted the U.S. to send a carrier strike group and bombers to the Persian Gulf. The first of four B-52s is expected to arrive at the main air base in Qatar today, and the aircraft carrier Lincoln and its escorts are expected to pass through the Suez Canal by tomorrow. The Iranians won't think twice about attacking American interests. This latest confrontation comes exactly one year after the Trump administration withdrew from a deal Iran signed with the U.S. and five other countries to temporarily freeze its nuclear program. The Iran deal is defective at its core. Other signatories to the nuclear deal have 60 days to help Iran sell oil and gain access to international banking services. Otherwise, Iran will scale up its uranium enrichment program. That would technically mean the end of the agreement. We were able to get that very frightening program into a box. Jarrett Blanc was the State Department coordinator for Iran nuclear implementation under President Obama. Walking away from that and threatening that nonproliferation achievement, it threatens everybody. A 60-day clock is now ticking. If Iran withdraws from the nuclear agreement, it will consider itself free to begin enriching uranium to bomb-grade levels. Gail? David Martin, thank you very much.